Hey guys, Richard here. So in this review, I want to talk to you about Trendsbots. Now, this is a new product by Igor Bourbon and was actually released on the 17th of March. Now, Trendsbot is actually deal of the day on Warrior Plus. So I was just happened to be looking around and I thought this piqued my interest a little bit. So we, I bought a copy. We're going to jump inside. We'll have a look exactly what this is going to do for you. And then we're going to look at the types of websites this is producing to see if they're any good quality and whether they're worth adding to your business. So guys, if you're interested in these types of honest reviews, go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification bell and I'll let you know whenever I produce new videos. And guys, if you're really serious and you want to figure out how to build a business online with affiliate marketing, go ahead and check out the link in the description below over to the School Nomads. I've got some completely free training for you there that will get you started straight away. So let's not go back to the sales page yet. We will go back there because I do want to show you a few things. But let's go into the software itself. Now, basically, the type of sites this is creating a content site. So the first thing you're going to do here is basically go through and you're going to build a site. Now, on the front end, you can only build subdomains of Trendsbot itself which is problematic because obviously if they shut this down for whatever reason, then your site is completely lost. Now you have to pay an upgrade of $37 for you to be able to actually get your own domain and put these on your own domain. And what that allows you to do is actually just download the files from this software and then upload it into your own web hosting accounts, which is for a newbie really bad because you're not gonna know what to do. It's gonna be very fiddly. And with all the page builders that exist these days, with all of the other autoresponders that give you free websites, this is no need to do that anymore. But that's what they're saying that they can do on your own. But basically, everything you're going to see is is a subdomain of this trend bots. So you're going to add your own website, and then you're going to add some categories to that website. So you're going to come through here, and you're going to add various categories to it. I can just add one here, and that's going to have a couple of categories for my site. And the main thing here is the AI piece, the creating the article piece. Now you can get trending content by putting in a keyword. You can get AI content, you can get a news a API content or YouTube content. Basically, it's just scraping the web for these three types of content here. Like most of these other things have done in the past, all they go out is to scrape the web and then they bring that content into your site. Never going to rank anywhere. It's not original. Most times you're not giving the creator of the original article or the video any kind of credit for it. Very, very poor tactic. You just end up with loads of spammy, horrible websites. But then they have this AI content piece, which is basically attached to ChatGPT. So what you're going to do is you're going to create an article here, put your keywords in here, and then it'll give you a ChatGPT article. Now, the fact that ChatGPT is free is completely to me makes this a little bit pointless because you can do this anyway on your website. You can just go out any website you've got, create an article on chat GPT and then start using it. But there is a lot more to it than that because it's not going to rank. Google will know that's an AI generated article. It doesn't like it because it knows it's going to be the same quality as thousands of others of the same topic that have been produced. So it wants to see unique articles. It wants to see good content. So it kind of penalizes AI articles so all they are on these types of sites basically they're just filler you're not going to help you rank anywhere organically which means that whenever you have anything on this website when you finally do have a finished website you're going to have to just share the link with people which that's where the traffic and this free traffic they talk about on the sales page it's just nonsense it's not going to get free traffic unless you've got good social media media followings in places like facebook linkedin Twitter, any kind of those accounts where you can share a link and people will click on it and come over to your site or you use some kind of paid traffic to bring people over to this link or you've got an email list that you can drive to that link. It will not organically give you free traffic. It doesn't exist unless you have somebody on those platforms that you can go ahead and share to. So just be aware of that, right? So there's not free traffic at all. No traffic is really, truly free. You have to build it up in some way. So you can create these articles. Now, what it does then is it allows you to build a bunch of campaigns up, which I still can't for the life of me see what the point of these campaigns are, because all they are is the website links for these. And then you have a bunch of managed articles here, which is just generated hundreds and hundreds of these articles. Now, what you will need to do is actually attach all of the various APIs for your social news, YouTube, Tumblr, anything that you have, you have to attach the API here, give it the access token keys, 
all of this different information so again it's not really newbie friendly to me because at the end of the day all it's doing is scraping the web for content the social posting piece again you're going to have to add some social sites to this but when i did this it did make me laugh a little bit um it's given me all of these different types of articles it says it's posted it to these networks if i submit that what's happened <laughs> i can't see where that's gone who that's gone to what the audience was have they selected people on tumblr interested in ai content or whatever the niche that you're a particular site is in is this just a little bit silly so if i come back to the dashboard itself let me just show you the types of websites these is creating now these are the websites on their demos that they actually have right so this is one of them supposed to be for weight loss now, this is one they're actually demoing. So all it is is a bunch of these different types of articles. And let me just resize this for you. And basically, that's it. It's just piled full of these different types of posts and articles that have come from various sources. And then in between them, there's some adverts that are supposed to be monetizing, right? But again, you're going to have to share this link to people. It's not going to organically come over to anyone. Here's some videos. You can see that there's no images on these videos. It looks a little bit rubbish, to be quite honest. And, and, and that's kind of my opinion of some of these sites. If you look at the business site, the business site is another one they have on their list. It's full of these kind of really squashed, horrible images. Nothing really makes sense on here. I've already tested some of these articles on here and they're all plagiarized plagiarized they've just been scraped from various other sources there's one here and there's one here again i, I got my own plagiarism checkers all you do is sweep the articles over into here it tells you where the pro the content is coming from it's all coming from different websites so none of this is going to rank organically and it all looks a little bit rubbish guys it doesn't look very nice if i just click into this one for instance it's going to bring me over to the article here and this is the social sharing buttons but of course nobody's going to see that unless they share it themselves so this is no different from multiple other of these types of website builders you see a lot of them from billy dar over the years they're just very cheap pieces of software where you can create a website on that's all they really are the ai piece is supposed to make them a little bit more sexy at the end of the day that's just a link over to chat gpt into this software and you're going to have to do all of the same things that you would on that particular content you want in any other place if you wanted it to actually rank and be valuable to someone and that's really all this software does it just produces those really quite poor quality websites and you've got some other things on here like you've got a keyword replacer where you can choose a keyword and then replace it with a link it's a nice little idea i guess but you end up with link stuffing going on here which google hates as well so to me, it's not really worth that much. If I just come back to the sales page, again, random irritation. If I come back down to some of the testimonials on here, these are supposed to be customers of trends bots. And then I come down to this other one called Employmatic. And basically all I've done is cut and pasted exactly the same testimonials into this. If I come down a little bit lower, you have these two, which I wouldn't buy off anyway, but you have these two guys that are supposed to be testimonials for these products. It says here, we let a few early users and pro marketers use Eplomatic, and here's what they have to say. And then they have exactly the same thing on here, where they say we have a few early users of pro marketers use trends bots, and exactly what they have to say. And they're saying exactly the same thing in both cases. All they've done is replace this word here, trends bots, with Eplomatic or vice versa so you can see guys <laughs> they're not real testimonials basically i wouldn't cut corners using this type of software i would literally go out and build yourself a proper website get interested in the niche that you want to be selling people affiliate products in if that's what your aim is build your own content reference other people's content by any means look at what's trending but try and make it as unique and valuable as you can it's the only way you're going to build a long-term sustainable business that's my opinion guys my name is richard darby this is school of nomads if you're interested in these types of honest reviews go ahead and hit the subscribe and notification bell and i'll let you know whenever i produce new videos and guys if you're really struggling and you're trying to find a way to build a real honest affiliate marketing business go ahead and hit the link in the description below over to school nomads i've got some completely free training for you there and we can get you started straight away until next time guys take care